The next topic in module 1 is small signal operation and models in the case of second case that is MOSFET. Okay, first we have seen BJT now it is for MOSFET. So as uh, we have seen in your BJT small signal operation means the operation of the transistor when you apply a very small signal AC signal. Okay, so under this you are going to study three different topics one is fixing the DC bias point second the signal current in the drain terminal. So the signal current means when you apply the AC signal, what is your drain current? Small i, small d. Okay. And the third one is your voltage gain. Small signal voltage gain. So, AV is equal to output voltage divided by input voltage. Right. In this, you have small signal operation. So, it is small letter. Output voltage is ds, v, ds divided by input voltage is gate to source. Okay. Because source is grounded. So, this is your... Uh, conceptual circuit of the MOSFET uh, example uh, diagram which is taken where your source is grounded okay common source uh, in channel okay enhancement MOSFET so here you have VDD a resistor across your drain and across the input you are going to that is your gate you are going to apply both your AC as well as your DC AC is uh, always signified by small letter and DC is signi uh, signified by capital letter as we have seen in BJT it is same okay so the first topic is the DC bias point. So what is your DC bias point to fix your operating point Q? So the DC bias current, uh, current ID, because it is DC, right? Capital letter ID can be found by setting VGS to zero. So in the circuit, your, uh, how will you fix your uh, um, DC operating point? By fixing your AC signal, you have to make it to zero. By only you are applying your VC, uh, VDD, that is your supply voltage and what will be your current the current id is given as 1 by 2 into small kn into vgs minus vt the whole square so what is this kn kn will be equal to kn dash into w by l as we have seen in the previous videos okay so here you are going to neglect because lambda is equal to 0 that is why you have got the equation as 1 by 2 into kn vgs minus vt the whole square see here the channel length modulation is neglected that is lambda is equal to zero now what will be your vgs minus vt vgs minus vt you know that it is a overdrive voltage vov right so it is a overdrive voltage at which the mosfet is biased to operate so if i replace this by overdrive voltage vov how you can write 1 by 2 into kn into vov the whole square so where vov is equal to that is your overdrive voltage is equal to vgs minus vt here I have written the value Kn is equal to Kn dash into W by L. So the DC voltage at the drain, what will be your uh, applying the loop equation? Here you will be having plus, right? So plus VDD, the current here is plus to minus. My, uh, so second polarity, minus ID into RD, right? Then you have here it is plus to minus. So minus VDS is equal to 0. So what will be your uh, VDS from this VDS when I take it to the opposite side you will be getting VDD minus IDRD. That is what written here VDD. So here it is plus 2 minus VDS. VDD minus IDRD that is taken as equation 2. Okay. So the next one these are the important equation 1, 2, 3 equations which you have in your DC bias point. The second one is your the signal current in the drain terminal now you are going to apply you, are, you have made in the previous condition small vgs is equal to zero now you are going to apply a small ac signal okay vgs consider the situation with the input signal vgs applied what will be the total instantaneous gate to source voltage vgs now your v, total voltage v small v capital gs will be equal to uh, the sum of your um, uh, what your DC as well as your AC signal that is why it is written as pa capital letter is your uh, uh, what DC and your small letter is your AC so here it is a combination of DC as well as AC signal okay so that we are taking it as equation one so resulting in the instantaneous drain current what will be your drain current ID that is your signal drain current ID will be equal to 1 by 2 into K and dash into W by L into uh, what will be the value here it is VGS uh, so here it is small i um, capital D similarly here it will be small b uh, small v capital GS total voltage right input voltage minus VT so what will be your VGS here you have already found out VGS plus small v is DC plus AC that is what you are going to substitute instead of VGS you have substituted VGS plus small VGS that's how you have got this equation VGS 
plus VGS minus VT. I have just reshuffled because we are going to take this as your A. It is looking in the form A plus B the whole square, right? So A I have taken it as VGS minus VT and B is equal to small VGS. Apply the formula. What will be your A plus B the whole square? A plus B the whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. That is what done here. So what will be the value? A square half into K and dash W by L into this is your A. So VGS minus VT the whole square plus 2AB here. That's why your 2, 2 got cancelled. So K and dash into W by L into A is the VGS minus VT into VGS. Okay. And the third term is going to be B square. Half into K N into W by L into small VGS the whole square. So here the first uh, uh, factor will give you the uh, is a DC bias current. And the second one is the current uh, value which is proportional to your small uh, input signal VGS and uh, the third uh, one is your current which is uh, current value which is proportional to your VGS square. So here the third value is nothing but your unde undesirable signal or due to your non-linear distortion. So you can neglect your third second means third term in your second equation. To, uh, to reduce the non-linear distortion the input signal should be always kept small. So what will be your value? That is the third uh, value will be very very less than that of your second value. That is the assumption you have to take because of your non in order to avoid the non-linear distortion. So half into k and dash into w by l v g s square will be very very less than your second term. Okay. So you can uh, if you cancel this v g s will get cancelled here one v g s will get cancelled right. Now you have k n dash into w by l this also will get cancelled 2 will go to the other side. So what you will be getting v g s will be very very less than equal to 2 into v g s minus v t that is how you have got or equivalently how you can write v g s will be very very less than 2 into v g s minus v t you know that overdrive voltage ok. So you can equate to this equation small v g s will be very very less than 2 into v o v let us take this as equation 4. So if this condition small signal condition is satisfied we can neglect the last term in equation 2 and the id is expressed as now what will be your id now your total current id will be expressed as your dc plus your ac current so what will be your dc current dc current will be your first term and your ac current will be your second term so what will be your second term k n dash into w by l into vgs minus vt into small vgs okay so this is how you are going to get the uh, signal current the parameter now in the next one is you are going to define your transconductance so how will you define your transconductance which is the reciprocal of your resistance right so it is current by voltage so the param parameter that relates your current id and vgs is the mosfet transconductance gm that is for the what case for your small signal gm is equal to small id divided by small vgs which is equal to instead of id can you substitute the value k and dash w by l into vgs minus vt into vgs 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 will get cancelled so gm will be equal to you can rewrite into this equation or in terms of overdrive voltage instead of this replace it by vov that is how you have got equation 7 so the diagrammatic interpretation of the small signal operation you have your current id total current id versus your uh, input uh, voltage vgs if i apply a small ac signal you will be having the corresponding uh, id current also okay so here you are uh, uh, this will give you the slope slope so what will be your gm gm will be equal to uh, do change in your id right change in your id and your vgs so gm will be equal to do id divided by do vgs that is what written here okay gm is equal to change in your drain current versus your change in your total current versus your change in your total gate current given the condition what at what bias point at your q point or at your dc bias point that is why it is written small v capital gs is equal to at your dc operating point capital vgs okay now the next one the last one is your voltage gain so what will be your uh, total voltage gain i have told that voltage gain will be equal to av will be equal to output voltage that is small signal so output uh, small signal means it is small letter VDS divided by VGS input voltage. The total instantaneous drain voltage VD is given by again the same equation. What you will be getting VDS will be equal to VDD minus ID into RD. 
okay under small signal condition what will be your uh, vds vds will be equal to vdd so instead of your current id total current id you have substituted the value ac plus dc that is the only difference here small under small signal condition your vds will be equal to vdd minus rd into capital id plus so this is your small signal ac signal which can be rewritten as vds will be equal to vds minus how did you get this vds you know that vdd minus id rd is equal to capital vds that's how you have replaced it by vds minus rd into small id okay thus the signal component of the drain voltage is what will be your signal component of your drain voltage vds will be equal to small vds small uh, signal vds that's why you have small letter vds will be equal to minus id into rd so vds will be equal to instead of id can you substitute the value what is your uh, gm so you here you know that what is your gm gm is equal to id divided by vgs so when you cross multiply you will get id is equal to gm into vgs that is what substituted here okay vds is equal to minus gm into vgs into capital rd which indicates the voltage gain as here you have output voltage if i bring this vgs down you will be getting the gain av is equal to vds divided by vgs what is left minus gm into rd so this is going to be your voltage gain of your small signal analysis now here in this equation what is this minus uh, signify it is 180 degree out of phase with that of your the output signal is 180 degree out of phase with respect to that of the input signal that is what given here okay so it can be also illustrated by means of the uh, diagram so if i take this diagram input and your if i take this as vds output input voltage and output voltage it has 180 degree phase shift for example here it is positive here it will be negative okay here it is uh, positive again here it will be negative that is how it goes 180 degree phase shift here it is small signal here uh, input is small here output is amplified okay so uh, what are the other conditions you have uh, your uh, maximum value and minimum value of your output voltage should be always your uh, uh, minimum value d v d s minimum should be greater than greater than uh, what is your overdrive voltage right v g s max minus your v t similarly your maximum voltage which should be always less than that of your supply voltage what you are applying so these are some of the important points inferred from this diagram okay next we will see the small signal model